Hey, y'all, and welcome back to another episode of City Sim Builds. In the previous episode, we did a lot of good land use planning. We spread out some of our uses. I was trying to really have the industrial area for the whole city be right here, and that was causing all sorts of traffic issues. But as you can see, now that we've spread our industrial areas way over here in the distance and then another little pocket over here, things are functioning much, much better. And the other thing that we did was we added in a little bit more development over here along the river. We also added in a cargo train terminal, which is causing a lot of traffic issues. But that's to be expected when you have the only cargo train terminal way over here instead of where it used to be over this way. The other thing that we did was we added in a little bit more future proofing for our arterial roadway network. You can kind of see where we're going to be expanding in the future and that's shaping up very nicely. But the name of the game of today's episode is going to be cargo and we're going to be focusing on a few different areas. One thing that we're going to do is add another cargo train terminal right about in here. Then I think we're going to add another one about in here somewhere. And then the next thing that we're gonna get into is harbors, specifically cargo harbors. And we might put a passenger harbor or two as well. And in order to do that, we're gonna to have to access the shipping lane. But before we get into today's episode, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please think about doing so. That would be really, really awesome and would help me out a ton. But with that said, let's jump into today's episode. So in order to get access to the shipping lane, which I believe is right in here, we're gonna to have to purchase a tile. So let's double check that before we make the purchase. So if we pop over here to the shipping section of the transport tab, we can take a look at our existing ship pathway. And whoa, that's pretty crazy. I've never noticed that before. I, do, I honestly don't even know what that is. This like sort of blue jet stream looking thing. But anyway, we need to access this. And the way we're gonna go about doing that is purchasing this tile right in this area. So in the previous episode, we were able to get to Metropolis, which gave us a few things like an airport and a cargo airport, uh, new services like planes. And we're probably gonna be touching upon that in the future in maybe the next episode or two. But the main thing for today's episode is we get access to this new area. And the next milestone is Megalopolis, which is a little over 10,000, roughly 12,000 people away. And then once we have that, I think we should be able to unlock a whole bunch of areas. And I'm really looking forward to that. So it's pretty interesting. I think I can purchase this tile right here, but it's not showing up for whatever reason. And this is a vanilla build, so I'm getting some sort of weird glitches, as you probably have noticed with some of the issues with like areas, uh, with like districts and the sound areas and things like that. But I'm gonna try and purchase this. And I think that worked and it did work. Okay, fantastic. I got concerned there for a second. I was not gonna be able to purchase this area. But what this is gonna also allow us to do is expand over here into this part of the map, which I'm really excited about. Because as you can see, we've already expanded over here and I wanna even things out and expand over this way a little bit. We're probably gonna be purchasing these next two tiles in order to do that. And then I think that Megalopolis milestone is gonna be huge for that. I wanna come down here and place a harbor, a cargo harbor right here. And I think that's gonna allow us to get something in place that will access the shipping line. So in creating this area, I went ahead and saved this little bit of land so we could get a cargo harbor right here along the shoreline. So we'll pop into transport. So we got a cargo hub, which uh, basically accepts train traffic and it combines the function of a cargo harbor and a cargo terminal, which is pretty cool. And then we have just a regular cargo harbor. And I think this is the one we're gonna go with since we don't have rail in the immediate area. Maybe in the future, we can bring this rail over somewhere either here or way further down the map and have one of the uh, cargo hubs for that. So let's see here, shoreline required. And it is not liking the locations here for this. So we might have to rethink this a little bit. So maybe what we'll do for the time being is add in a cargo terminal over here. And we can landscape through here, provide some trees because I believe this is gonna produce a lot of noise. 
yeah and it's back to the thing where <laughs> the areas and districts are just being kind of wonky like normally when you would place this you would see like a big bubble around this area that's going to cause issues like here you can see these residents here that are having issues and they're sick because of all the noise so i think i might actually dezone some of this area right in here and i don't think we need to do the whole thing just maybe to about here like roughly two-thirds of the block and then since we have commercial demand it's probably not a bad idea to have a little bit of commercial right there i think we could do the same thing through here as well oh and before i forget i do want to extend this path through here and maybe what i'll do is have this connect up right there as well so we'll go and grab our zoo path. Let's have a connection that meets up maybe here in between the trees and then have this continue on down to right there. Because this is our passenger terminal and I'm cool with that staying there. All right, so let's think about how this is gonna work. It's a two-way road, but I really wanna get a circulatory roadway system in here. So for this, let's go into our two unit roads and go over to the one-way section. And we're gonna stick with this one here because it has a little bit of trees which is going to help us out with our noise considerations. So I'm going to extend this out and then find this guideline right here and then tie that up like that. And then over here we need to think about how this can better tie into the greater roadway network over this way. And I'm thinking this street might be a good option right here. And one thing we are going to have is a considerable amount of traffic probably going down this road in terms of truck traffic. This is going to be a temporary sort of deal because until I can unlock more tiles, I'm not going to be able to put cargo harbors in this general area. But for the time being, this will accomplish my goal for getting something in place. And the other thing I'm thinking about doing, since we have the capability, I want to get in a actual harbor as well. And I'm, now that I'm looking at this, I might reconsider the placement of it. So I'm gonna move this down to here, and I'm gonna prioritize having the passenger area right in here. That way it's closer to our immediate land uses that would benefit from it. So we'll pop back in. Perfect, I like that, excellent, and everybody's happy. Let's, let's reconsider this roadway again. And then through here, I think we could just do something where we have a connection that just meets up like that, then have something where we find that guideline, tie up there. Actually, actually, here's what we'll do. Back this up, and it really wants me to hit that node right there. Let's see if we can do something about that. Yeah, like that. Then what we can do now that we have this connection in place, have something that goes around like that, and then we'll simply just reverse the roads through here. Perfect. All right, let's get water and power here. And maybe what we can do is extend a little bit of commercial along the backside here, just so we can have power jumping. We have fire and police there, and I think that should be good. So I'm gonna bump up the game speed and see if we can get something developing here. All right, and that has things resolved over here. We should have some passenger service over here pretty soon. And hopefully this will start to allow us to carry goods and raw materials to and from the city here in the future. All right, so the other thing I wanna do is take a look at this area because we have a lot of traffic over here associated with the new industrial area. And plus this is kind of like a pinch point right now for the city. There is some relief provided here, but I wanna get a cargo train terminal over here and I'm wondering if I can do something where we have a circulatory system that comes around like this. Let's see if we can fit that in. So we'll pop over to the rail tab, get our cargo train terminal. I think we should have enough space here to make this work. So I'm trying to eyeball this and it looks like I need to come out roughly about four units and get something that's parallel to the track here. So I'm gonna try and do that. And just to get a guideline, I'm gonna to come to about there and then we'll come off roughly four units. Yeah, so if that's five. And that should hopefully give us enough space for our cargo train terminal. Then I'm gonna come out here to this midpoint, which is like five units away from the center line roughly. And then we use our curve road tool and tie in something like that. Let's clean that up a little bit. So let's use this trick where we come out to this point here. We'll meet up right there, and then I think we can get a better roadway connection right there. Yeah, much better, I'm, I'm liking that. All right, so let's get rid of that. 
and then I'm curious if we can get in a cargo train terminal right in here somewhere. Ooh, and that's too close, it's too close. All right, let's back this up a little bit. So truthfully, we probably need to meet up right about there. And then what I might do is just kind of build this backwards. Something along those lines. Now that we have those roadway segments reversed, let's see if that fits. And that seems to be much, much better. So I wanna get this down a little bit further, roughly in the midpoint, because we are gonna have some queuing over here for the cargo train terminal. And we're also probably gonna have some queuing for folks trying to get on the major arterial right here. So let's connect this up. And it looks like it has water, but just to be sure, I'm gonna run a line underneath like that. We're not getting any symbols for power, so I think we're good there. Then for here, I'm gonna try and take one of the game's suggestions and get something that seems to make sense. I'd like to line up at roughly a 180 degree angle on this side. So 179 is pretty close. And then here, I think that makes a reasonable connection. There are some slope issues through here, but I think for the time being, that's gonna be okay. I mean, we are playing vanilla. One of the ways I could have fixed this is to lower this height down a little bit here, but I think it's I think that's fine for the time being. And look at that, we're already starting to get some usage out of the cargo train terminal. I wanna take a look at the junctions here while we're in this general location. All right, so we have a stop sign there. I'm, I don't think we need anything for the time being right here. This is gonna help our traffic situation out. So we have a stop sign here, and then I think we're probably gonna need a signal here in the future. That way we can allow more traffic to leave the cargo train terminal and have a little bit more free flow coming in this way. And just to make this run a little bit more efficiently, I think I'm gonna extend this down to about here and just have basically a a right in right out sort of situation or i guess it's really just a one way right in and plop that in there and then bring that down over this way that'll allow a little bit more queuing to happen right through here all right so we'll come back and see how this helps with this area and it looks like we have a garbage problem so i do want to place maybe an incineration plant since this is already a pretty noxious area and our garbage processing status is getting down a little bit so i think that makes sense to place that there and one of the things I'm seeing here is some weird zoning. And I don't think we needed those power lines there. And that's gonna allow us to zone through here a little bit more and we don't get these weird one unit buildings, which I'm not a big fan of. Although these little planter boxes are pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. So not enough educated workers, interesting. And so our technical college is pretty much there in terms of providing educational services. So maybe that'll just work out over time. Yeah, and I think this is working out pretty good over here. We're not seeing the kind of queuing that we were having over here earlier. And I wonder if we can do something real quick to bump up the campus attractiveness and get the Canarsie Technical College back up to a level five. Maybe we can fit in another fountain or two. This might be a good spot for a fountain right here. Nice. And then I wonder if we can get in maybe another fountain somewhere. Can we fit one in here? And it looks like we can, so I'm gonna put that there. And is that doing anything to our campus attractiveness? Yeah, it's gone up a little bit. So maybe we'll add in another fountain somewhere. Let's maybe do one of these statues right here on the shoreline. I think that might look nice. And we are ticking all the boxes and I think it's just gonna take time for the game to recognize that we're gonna be bumped up to a level five technical college here. Excellent. All right, so let's take a look back over here and I wanna get in another cargo train terminal over here. And this is gonna help serve this area. And to get this in, I know we're gonna to need to come off roughly about in here. So I'm gonna draw something that's approximately parallel with what we got going on over here with the rail line. And let's see if that's too far away. There's definitely some guesswork here. And you, and you just kinda of have to play around with things. But that's pretty close, I'm happy with that. So maybe what we can do is extend this road up this way and have it curve a little bit, kind of follow some of the topography here. Let's actually cut on the, the topography. And it's really, really flat through here, so we can kind of do what we need to. What I might do is just to uh, limit some of the access points that we have with like the highway ramps, not to create too much coming and going on the arterial is come off this way. 
Then let's see where is a logical place for this to meet up. I think we could have something that comes over to right about in here. And then eventually the highway could probably bridge over this section. And we likely won't do an interchange here. Well, let's okay, let's think about that. If we do an interchange, we could do a partial clover leaf interchange where you have all the ramps on the left side of the interchange. So I might actually back this up and we'll add in a little bit of space here. And I want to see if I can find that guideline and get something that's perpendicular to the highway when it eventually comes across over here. Then we're gonna back this up and line things up. So I think I'm just gonna extend this all the way down to roughly about there. And it's not quite giving me the guideline that I'm looking for. So I wonder if we create a little nub there. Does that do the trick? Not quite, not quite. All right, I think that's good enough for now. All right, so we need another little circulatory system here and to tie up our rail and extend water and power. Just to help plan things out, I'm gonna use some of these gravel roads and then get something in over here. So we need to maybe meet up right through here. Then I'll come out 10 units, come down 10 units. We'll just bring this down roughly to here and let's find a good node where we could get a good gentle curve in. So I think this node is a good spot. So I'm gonna back this up. And what I'm trying to do is create some points where I can have nice gentle curves that meet up like that. So we come here and then we can do that and that looks pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with that. So we'll get our one way, two lane road with the trees and upgrade this section through here. All right, so that's looking good. And then for power, I might simply just run a line that goes across, meets up like that. Okay, interesting, the areas seem to be working now. Very peculiar, very peculiar. I'm curious if it does that for noise. Kinda. We're weirdly getting it over here, but not over here. Because you can tell these are very red and definitely creating a lot of noise. And what is going on with these ships? <laughs> Lots of ship confusion, uh, yeah. So, all right, let's get this connected up so we can get some usage out of it. Then again, I'm gonna use what the game kind of suggests here. That's 170, not awful, not bad. And that's 180, okay, excellent. So now we should start to see some utilization out of this cargo train terminal here. Let's go back and check in on the other one that we just placed. And look at that, it's getting very heavily utilized. Excellent. And same thing over here. This one's getting utilized as well. And traffic is significantly better over here. So again, spreading out the land uses and making improvements like that go a long way in improving the overall functionality of your city. 